Hey guys, so I'm finally done my front porch makeover for spring and summer with a ton of thrifted items and I'm so excited to show you guys the process. So I've been doing little sneak peeks and hints here and there throughout my past couple of videos when I've been searching for items at the thrift stores and it's finally complete so I can finally show you guys. Don't forget to please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It should be next to my channel name below or you can check out my channel and all of my videos and subscribe from there. I have a lot of DIYs with me, thrift with me especially, and I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out and hit subscribe. My husband and I also did a ton of work in our backyard this year. It's been something that has needed some TLC for quite some time and unfortunately our dog has passed on which meant that it was the perfect time for us to redo everything. We've never had any grass back there so my husband laid sod and we did all the prep and I've been decorating that little by little so I will show you guys that as well because I do have a few thrifted items that I placed back there. Let's get into it. So this is what my front porch looked like a couple of years ago. This was the original concrete step that the previous owners had covered in a disgusting carpet. But last year, my husband made this small porch for me out the front. It was a lot safer and cleaner. And so this is actually the first spring that I'm getting to decorate it and I was really excited. Of course, like most people out there, the first thing I did when I needed to redo my porch was go to Pinterest to look for some inspiration. I knew for sure I wanted some kind of chair out there, an area to sit, and and I wanted it to feel cozy and have a mix of different planters and flowers and plants out there. I finally settled on a few really nice inspiration photos to go thrift shopping with to try and find everything that I needed to get this look. So the first item that I grabbed from my porch was this amazing wood rocking chair that I scored off of Facebook Marketplace for $15. <laughs> I was so excited about not only the chair but the price point so I went and picked it up from this girl I was so excited brought it home it looked exactly how I wanted it to just needed a good clean every other chair that I found that was in any kind of wood style that I wanted was minimum $75 plus so I'm not sure how I managed to get this for 15 but I'll take it this exact chair was actually in some of the Pinterest inspiration photos that I saved. I was so excited. Next up was finding planters and lanterns and things like that. You definitely would have seen me find a couple of these items in my previous videos. I found this awesome kind of boho lantern and I actually already had one that I had thrifted a couple years back. I also already had a white and metal lantern that I picked up on clearance from Lowe's a few years ago for about $15 that I'd been using on my porch anyways. I also found some awesome planters at Goodwill and I actually ended up using those in the backyard. It's got this nice kind of rattan aged look going on with wood handles and I've seen a lot of inspiration photos on Pinterest where they were using crates and baskets. Also from Goodwill I had grabbed these metal hanging planters for my fence in the backyard so I can put some flowers in those and I planned on reusing my current mailbox, but just spray painting it in a matte black and removing the metal holders from the bottom. I feel like spray paint and paint in general can be such a quick and generally inexpensive makeover if you're trying to change something on a budget. I decided to reuse my front door mat from last year that says welcome and the washable black and white plaid mat underneath it that I also got last fall. So I just gave those a really good power wash and put them fresh on the porch again this year. In the spirit of trying to change things up while spending as little money as possible, I took this metal black farmhouse star from our backyard, which I scored at a craft show a few years back now, and I moved it to the front and hung it on the brick behind the chair. In one of my previous videos, someone suggested that I paint it the color of my door or something similar. I ended up keeping it black only because I decided to spray paint the mailbox black as well and did black accents throughout. I actually had another amazing Facebook marketplace find. I saw someone had posted a ton of wood planters for sale for $5. It was only about five minutes down the road. So I went and I grabbed four different sizes. One was a completely different color and I ended up using it for a bird bath in my front garden. 
I simply tipped it upside down and set a terracotta tray on top and a rock in the tray for the birds to perch on and they literally started using this bird bath about 15 minutes after I put it out. As for the others, there was a kind of trio of planters that I got and I set those up on the front porch. I did end up doing a DIY project with those ones, so I will show you guys that in this video. I dug through my basement as well, trying to shop my own home and save some money. And I did end up using three different pots that I found in my basement. One is a thrifted pot that my mom picked up for me. It was supposed to be for kitchen utensils, but I decided it was a little bit too big for the spot on my counter. I also have this galvanized watering can that my mom got for me from a thrift store years ago for about $4. It's just been sitting in my backyard. It's also dual purpose since I can actually use it to water the plants. Watering cans were definitely in the inspiration photos that I saw and saved on Pinterest, so I was super excited about being able to actually incorporate one into my front porch decor. One of my favorite things that I did for the front porch was this super sweet little wicker planter that's hanging in the middle of my front door. I grabbed some dainty trailing flowers from my local garden center. I used purple because we have a lilac tree right in the front garden that is so beautiful, so I really wanted to tie this in. I got the hanger from the dollar store for $5, and the plant was $3.25. I also got this little ceramic mushroom set from the dollar store as well. It was $4 and it makes a wind chime noise, which is just so cute. So I popped that into the back of the basket and hopefully once the trailing plant starts to grow, it will look even better. As I mentioned, I also went to a garden center on Mother's Day and I grabbed two ferns as well as a potted lady fern. One of the ferns is going to go in my backyard and then the other two are going to stay out front. I also grabbed three of these little potted begonias. I love begonias and I've used them in my front and backyard before and they always do amazing in my kind of part shade yard. So I definitely grabbed some of those in these beautiful yellow and pink tones. Okay, so I filmed some of my initial planning process. Please excuse the sight of my rear end in these videos. I was just trying to get an idea as to what I wanted out front and where I wanted it. Okay guys, so I still haven't done the power washing and cleaning up, so everything's a little dirty. I have the Facebook Marketplace score of this awesome rocking chair. Just need to clean that as well. And on Pinterest, I saw a lot of inspiration that used crates. And I actually, when we moved in, had this Pepsi crate that was in the garage. They left it here. I thought I might as well use it. It's kind of vintage looking too and different. And I'm actually using it double duty for showcasing little plants and as a table beside the rocking chair. This is a little New Guinea impatient that I picked up from the same little garden center on Mother's Day. I paid $3.25 for this one as well. And it looks so cute here. This is one of the hanging ferns that I picked up from that garden center as well for $20. I just put it in this galvanized pail that I got from the dollar store a couple of years ago. Last year, I spray painted it a matte black and I'm using a black metal plant stand that I picked up from a garden store last year for $20. I love the height of this planter and bonus, it covers our old crappy outlet. <laughs> So I'm just doing the DIY on these wood planters that I scored off of Facebook Marketplace. I decided I didn't like all of the wood on the wood porch, especially with the wood rocking chair. So I'm gonna pull in some black accents and paint these up and we'll see how it looks.
Okay, and the second part to this DIY project is taking one of the larger wood planters and I'm going to like paint dip it. So half of it is going to be black. I'm gonna paint the bottom half and see how it looks. Just hoping it'll balance out the look of the porch a little bit more. They're not perfect, but they're definitely good enough for what I wanted and the look that I was going for and on a budget. This is the lantern you probably saw in my previous video that I thrifted um, at Talese actually. I decided I'm going to keep that back here and put a candle in it so it has some nice ambiance. I took the taller metal lantern and I hung it from this bracket that was already attached to my fence. It definitely has a big impact with little cost. So this is the planter that I showed in the beginning of the video that I thrifted for $8.99 from Goodwill and I knew I wanted to do something with this. It didn't work out on my front porch so I decided to bring it to the backyard area. I'm not sure where its final resting place is going to be but I decided to fill it with some beautiful plants. I used the other two begonias that I picked up from that garden center as well as a little trailing vine plant that I picked up from Lowe's which I'm hoping will trail out the side of the planter. I also had this night blooming flower that my grandma gave me that I've tucked in there as well as a small white dragon wing begonia and I backed it up with a potted fern that my grandma took from her garden for me just to give it a bit of height. In total I spent about $20 on making this entire planter. Since we're talking so much about plants right now, I might as well show you everything that I got from our local garden center, Hemans. And I picked up a few really good plants for the front and the back, one of which was this little citronella plant for $4 that I put in a simple black pot. The other planter actually has the last yellow and pink begonia that I purchased on Mother's Day in it. And I also grabbed this beautiful white dahlia. It was $10 and I had to have it. It was so gorgeous. I used this in the front yard. I did also stumble across these really beautiful begonias. They're called Rex begonias. And this was in the pinky purple shade. I definitely had to get one of these to go with the purples in the front porch area. And lastly, I snatched up a couple more white dragon wing begonias as well. Finally, this past weekend, it was time. My husband pressure washed the front porch for me and everything around it and my rugs as well. So I was able to get everything together and do my final decorating of the porch so I can show you guys finally what it all looks like and how it turned out.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this process of seeing me thrift everything and use Facebook Marketplace and just pull everything together with a couple of DIYs. I'm so excited that I was able to get my front and back looking this amazing and on a budget. Every year I set aside some money to be able to do this kind of thing, but this is the first year I've really been able to make it my own. I still need to weed my garden and do other maintenance things like that, but it looks great for the moment and I'm really happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was so excited to finally get to show you guys this front porch decorating and the bits of my backyard as well. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and I hope that you hit that subscribe button and come back for more videos and more thrift trips in the future. I would love if you left a comment if there was anything in particular that you really liked. Let me know what you think of my thrifty decorating this year for my front porch. Thank you again and we'll see you in my next video.